20 night, you hear that? 21. 20 night, clip 1 night. Run up if you want, dead, you hear that? 22. 22. Bumbo clock. Yeah, anytime you see me on road, you know the code. Anytime you see me on road, run up if you want, run up. Fucking up. Big up, Dante. Rest in peace, my G. Yeah. On the spot news media, we got the latest news. We don't care about the views, we just representing right. Put local news internationally every night. On the spot, wave that Jamaican flag from left to right. Let's get it right. Y'all know the type. We ain't dealing with the hype. We make it take flight. Yeah, man, my viewers and subscribers, what a go on. A blessed and wonderful Monday morning to each and every person out there tuning in to On The Spot News Media. Now, my peeps, you don't know how we do it over on this side each and every morning. We have to give thanks and praise to the Most High Creator for the preservation of life because life is indeed the greatest. Now, in the morning here, we are trudged through the sunshine city of Portmore for sure. Now, in recent times, we have seen where the Portmore area has had its fair share of uprisings, whole heap of knockings and clappings in the Sunshine City. Note the term, Sunshine City. Well, the man them definitely seems as if them on a prowl to make Portmore the Sunshine City into the city of darkness. Yeah, man, may I tell you? Now, you have some real notorious criminals living in Portmore. And one such notorious criminal where we are going to feature in the morning here is this brother here upon your screen that goes by the name of Paul McRae, otherwise known in the streets as Raza. Now, Raza is 39 years old. He come from over Nago Head, Portmore there. He's also a deportee from the United States of America. Now, it is alleged that Raza used to deal in the white lady where I talk about that like almonds powder, something right there, so. Yeah, man, so Uncle Sam decides to no want him in that place no more and send him back to Jamaica where he come from. Now, Raza in the place and I go ahead and I hot up the place. Now, Raza is a controversial figure. And it is also said that he is very influential and also affiliated with the Gorilla Gang from out of Nago Ed. Now, Raza has had his fair share of run-ins with the law. And Raza is a man that is also politically affiliated. Now, Raza used to be used by the political system to carry out a whole heap of knockings and clappings. But it is also said that Raza decide to step away from the political part of the badness and decide to make him own franchise and branch off to the gorilla gang out of Nago Head. Now Raza is a much feared gangster from out of Nago Head. Whole heap of knockings and clappings them youth are going with. As you can see, that small clip just before the intro where that person with that big old fat matic there turn up in him hand. That's Raza in full flight. So you know, say, he's a man who is definitely much feared. When you see the big matic in the youth hand, and I not normal go on right there, so. Furthermore, for those who missed it, let me play it for you know, again so you can see, say, Raza, a real old raga raga. Yeah, man, watch where I go on. 20 night, you hear that? 21. 20 night, clip 1 night. Run up if you want, dead, you hear that? 22. 22. Bumbo clock. Yeah, anytime you see me on road, you know the code. Anytime you see me on road, run up if you want, run up. Fucking up. Big up, Dante. Rest in peace, my G. You hear that? No, my peeps, when you see them heavy artillery there, yo, and on a joke type of badness, them youth are going with over there in Nago Head Portmore. When you see the big fat matic where the man having him on, I say, yo, a 22 in this, 21 in the clip, and one in the head, well bebbled down and ready. 
Well, right now, I have another small clip for play for you. I can't play the audio because the song we are play in the backdrop is a copyrighted song, so you don't know how that thing they set over the YouTube. Yeah. But nevertheless, it just goes to show that anyway, this youth are there, this youth that goes by the name of Paul McRae, OC, Raza, always trapped and always ready for any eventualities. So members of John Public approach with caution. Watch where I go on. Now the song we are playing in the backdrop is yours truly, Skeng, Gunman Shift. Well, you don't know so when the youths them hear them type of music here, them just feel bad. And as you can sip on them hip, had a big old fat rubber grip. You know, say, I know nothing normal I go on in at the party there. Right, you know, I wouldn't want to do one party like that. Because when them boy they pop off them big dog there, I know nothing normal when them big dog they start back. Now, in recent times, the police and the soldier them decide, say, yo, them are going to take back the Sunshine City and don't allow these criminal elements to make it become a city of darkness. And a giant military operation was carried out in Nagozed. All of this took place on Monday, April 4th, 2022. So the giant military team went to Raza's house where the team carried out a search of his premises. Well, whilst that search was being carried out, it is said that a Sig Sawyer 9mm pistol with a magazine of 14 live 9mm rounds was seized from that premises. Also, approximately 4 pounds of the good old herbs was taken from that premises. It is said that two young men who were cousins of Raza was inside the house and however, they were the ones charged for that firearm. But it is said that a Raza chapstick and you don't know how the thing set from your dip on the ends and the done thing get wool on pan. You have to just wool it and make sure you set the done free and it will definitely make sure so you get a lie and take care of all the financial type of thing and make sure so you're good. But you don't know as a soldier in the streets for the criminal them. You have to just hold it more time and just shut up. You can't ever say nothing too, too tough about it. As so the streets run. Well, as I say, both of the juvenile them is definitely active members of the Gorilla Gang. And it is also said that one of them was implicated in a recent knockings and clappings incident of a youth with them call Diddy. Here, yeah, man, may I tell you. So, right now, over Portmore, they saw a move well warm. Whole heap of top criminal. I inoculate the place. A nasty top. And right now, them all dirty kind of boy. Yeah. Seems as if them want the sun to go down in the sunshine city and make it become the city of darkness. Well, to you, the regular members of John Public living in these St. Catherine, Portmore areas. The onus is now on you to make sure say, the Sunshine City stays the Sunshine City and don't become a city of darkness. And on the spot news media, most definitely, I got to start pay keen attention to the criminal elements who are hell-bent in raking havoc in the St. Catherine South Police Division. We are talking about over there in the city of Portmore. Now, in recent times, I've also paid close attention to the gang warfare we are going over there in Southboro, where two rival gangs are at loggerheads with each other. A portion of knockings and clappings, whole heap of people get sent home gone a shot at country land. People have to pack up, people have to run away, people else get burn out, people else get can up. A serious business are going over there in Portmore, man. So for sure, on a need for take back on the communities from these criminal hoodlums, on a can't allow them to make the Sunshine City become a city of darkness. So members of John Public living in the Sunshine City, Portmore, please work with the police, work with the security forces over there and take back these areas from criminal elements. We are talking about from Waterford 
to Brayton, phase one and phase two. We are talking about Naga Head. We are talking about South Borough. Yeah, man. We are talking about Gregory Park. We are talking about Christian Pen. What them say on a play pen are some serious knockings and clappings are going in these areas in recent time. Portmore City, members of John Public, respond positively to the words of Andespot News Media and take back your city of sunshine and greatness from these criminal hoodlums who are hell-bent in making the sunshine city a city of darkness. Yeah, man. So remember to like, share, subscribe to the channel. Stay tuned to Andespot News Media as I continue to bring you fresh news and updates in subsequent newscast. Andespot News Media. Yeah, man.